whoop whoop hey apple bites i want to share my quirky complaints with you guys about everyone's favorite flicks flicks yeah that sounds good that won't get me sued right Okay, so here's the thing. When it comes to using my favorite flicks, um, I, I love watching my, you know, I love binge watching like everyone else. I'm on my phone, my tablet, I'm on, you know, my computer, my laptop. I'm everywhere watching my, my flicks, right? That's fine. I like my shows. I watch an entire season or seasons within like two days. That's great. That's, that's great. However, I do have a couple of things that concern me because I'm not sure how Netflix decides that they want to do their suggestion box or boxes to me or how they categorize things because it quite frankly drives me nuts whenever these things have come up. The repeats. Okay, so here's this thing. I'll be sitting there, cuddled onto the desk, my computer, wherever I'm at, li lying up on someone's couch, it's okay. We're having a good time, we're laughing, we're joking, we're having a good time. And then suddenly, we're like, you know what? Let's watch some Netflix. And we're like, that's great, that's great, that's great. So here's what happens. You log in, and then suddenly Netflix will go, hey, this is a documentary. And you're like, oh, that looks interesting, but you know, I really don't feel like watching that right now. And then Netflix is sort of kind of like, what about, Frosty the Snowman horror form. Hmm? What? Well, I noticed that you liked the Prince of Persia, so I figured I would suggest Frosty to you. And since you just, you know, you dismissed the great documentary list that I put down for you, I figured I would just suggest it here in the horror section. But it is the exact same movie. I surpassed it in the documentary about snow, so I don't understand how you thought putting the same movie inside the horror section would somehow entice me to watch the same film because we're telling you what to watch. Okay, Frosty it is. Am I the only one that thinks it's utterly insane? You watch one movie and suddenly, as a suggestion to you, almost like a force feeding kind of suggestion, like, you're going to enjoy this film. You're like, I don't want to watch the film. Guys, really, seriously, I don't want to watch the film. I feel like every time I go through the categories, I can go from documentary to horror, to romance, to independent films, films with strong female leads, will somehow all have the exact same movie in it, just because it has one action scene, one love scene, you know, things that are kind of required in a daily basis of storytelling, that sort of thing, and they'll just sort of take an aspect of it. Like, you know, it's that people get their heart broken. It belongs in a documentary. Let's move that right over there. It'll be great in documentary. Great. We put it here six times in six different categories. They're bound to watch it. I kind of feel like they're just sort of twisting my arm about it and I'm like, I really I really don't want to watch it. And then I feel awkward because then I'm like, oh, I, I guess I should watch it. And it's never quite what they suggested it to be. Konnichiwa, miimasuka. Hola, mi amor. Ni hao, wo jia, xing xing. Foreign films. <sighs> Okay, I'm glad you're getting the idea of my frustration because I love foreign films. I love them. I love watching Michelle Yeoh, Jung Ji Yi. I'll be watching my Spanish films, my Japanese films, my Chinese films. I am all in there, you know, and I love it. I'll even watch Korean dramas. I don't understand a single word except like calling someone honey. Like, yambo. Like, I know how to say that because I watch all the K dramas. Although it does mess up my Japanese and Chinese, but whatever. <laughs> um, I love watching all this. Sometimes I'll even watch a French movie because it's so close to Spanish and I studied Spanish. Um, so I can pick it up like in fragments. Sometimes I'll watch an Italian movie. Um, and I love Bollywood movies. I think they're fantastic. However, I do not think it is okay because I watched one movie that is obviously in English and American and I plug into Flix Flix and it goes, because you watched John Doe movie suggested and a good chunk of them will be foreign films in languages that I don't speak, like, at all. So, I'll click onto there, and this is pretty much what'll happen. Oh, 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 because you watch Batman? Okay, what do you have, what do you have, what do you have? Okay. Roadhouse, Rock House, okay. Okay, Cop Saves Girl, Girls in Bad, Bad Situation, okay. Okay, great thriller. Jeremy Irons is in this. Oh, well, that looks interesting. Oh, wow, okay. Okay, cool, let me put this on. 
And then I put the film on to find out that it's in another language. It's not even remotely close to what I was originally watching. Like, if I'm watching Batman and your suggestion is a movie that's in Hindi, which is fine, but don't describe to me the movie in English and then not give me subtitles at the bottom that says, in a foreign language. <laughs> Just so you know, you'll be reading subtitles for this one. I hate that. It drives me nuts because I'm like, I don't understand. I watched this one movie in American English and you suggested to me a movie that's in Russian and I don't I don't understand how did you make the relation because I don't speak a word of Russian. I think Russian is sexy. I do. I do. However, I don't speak a word of it. So when you make that a suggestion to me, I get gassed out. I go make the popcorn. I'm like, oh, this is going to be a good movie. They said Jeremy Irons is going to be in this one and it's because he had like a spot in it, like in background or something and then I watch it and I'm like, where was Jeremy irons in it and then I'll look it up on IMDB like everybody else and then I'll be like he was the police officer what the so what ends up happening is that I get really pissed off because I start watching a movie for maybe like 10 minutes and then I'm like um okay and it doesn't help because if the subtitles are small like when you're watching on your laptop I need my glasses to like see everything I'd be like oh okay he said the cops were chasing him like, you know, it becomes a major thing. <laughs> becomes an entire other little, like, language class when I just wanted to watch a movie. I don't understand. Don't trick me. That's just as bad as when guys trick me into dates like we're having a meeting today. <laughs> she thinks we're going to have a business meeting. <laughs> That's exactly what that is like. Don't do that to me, Flex Flex. I love you, Netflix. Please don't do that to me, baby. You're hurting me. Because now, when it's late at night and I'm trying to watch something, I can't because now I gotta sit up and read, read the subtitles and be like, oh, guess I'm gonna be learning a new language today. Back to the forceful suggestions. Oh, that movie's in a language where I have to read subtitles. I'm not in the mood for subtitles though, so let me just stop. This movie is not my cup of tea. This is, this has gotta go. I gotta watch something else. But then Flix Flix be all in your face like, hi there, I noticed that you only watched like three minutes of this one movie <laughs> that we suggested for you and I don't understand why when you logged back in today, you didn't watch the movie. And you keep that suggestion there for days, weeks, years. Okay, maybe not years, but that's not the point. The point is obviously you get the point. So. Uh, it drives me nuts because I'm sitting here like I decided I didn't want to watch the movie In fact, I rated it two stars because I wasn't interested so you would get the hint You know, I appreciate the hard work that they put behind you know putting this movie together and getting it on Netflix I think that's fantastic, but it is not my cup of tea. So could you please stop trying to force me to drink the tea? Um, so um, It'll just get really annoying because I can't I can't look for what I want to look for because once again with the force feeding of Redundancy, they're like yeah, we know you didn't finish watching it. Oh, yeah quick 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 guys. Let's suggest it as a comedy Why can't I ever seem to find the movie that I was watching or a show that I was watching But I couldn't finish watching it, but when I go look for it. That's the one that's not there. All right, so here's the thing. I'll be watching a show and I'll be really into it. And it's always a show that I like. I'll like like it halfway, like this is five stars. This is, this is it, you know? And let's say like I'm watching Game of Thrones, that kind of thing, but woo! And then suddenly, right, let's say Netflix goes, oh, she's, she looks like she's enjoying it. Aww. <laughs> and then I see this little face come up from Flix Flix. And what they do is that uh, I'll go back the following day like, oh, I can't wait to watch it. I fell asleep during that episode. I got to watch it. And I'll be like, whoop, 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 whoop. You know, I'm doing my Super Mario walk. Just so you know, when I walk on the street, I kind of do the Super Mario thing. You know, with one leg, you know, at a time. Can you see my leg? I'm trying to give you guys some skin. Yeah, sexiness, right? Come on. <laughs> um, but basically what will happen is that I'll go back there thinking, it's going to be there. And then it's not. That is so heartbreaking because now if I'm an idiot and I watched it at 3 o'clock in the morning, you think I'm going to remember what the name of the show was? So now i got to go back and pretend I can check my history and I'm now and recently watched or whatever you guys want to call it. And I'll just be like scroll, scroll, 
scroll. Okay, B Beauty and the Beast, scroll. Jet Li, scroll. Ipman, scroll. Okay, what else is in here? And then, like, I scroll so freaking much that by the time I realize I have circled the exact same 20 movies, I don't know, 30 times? But yet, I can't seem to find the one that I was just watching just a minute ago. But you know what is there? That movie that I did not like, that I rated one star, and you took the time to put that in my box. Again! Not that kind of box, ladies and gentlemen. <gasps> you enjoy my perverted humor, I admit it, you do. Um, <laughs> but, you know, it, that drives me insane because I'm just like, I just, I wanted to watch what I wanted to watch, not what you wanted me to watch. Because now I feel like I'm reliving my childhood where I didn't have an option to watch what I want to watch. And Flitchflix, Mr. Netflix, is Flitchflix, you know, which is mommy, and then Netflix, which is daddy. And they're like, you're not gonna watch what you you're gonna watch what I. What I want to watch, okay? And last time I checked, that generation was dead and long ago, long ago when the internet came out, okay? Thank you. Movies that don't belong in their categories. So, here's the thing. The other night ago, I was like, I'm gonna be looking for a movie. And I was like, you know, I'm gonna move for a really good horror movie. Right, and I'm like, walking, I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking. And then, I end up seeing something that's like 300 as a suggestion in the horror section, I'm like, Y'all like how I look around like I got friends, right? Um, but I'm just sort of like, um, that doesn't belong in horror. That's like action with the hot dudes running through, going, Aah! you know, that's action. That's <laughs> that's not a horror film. Look, like I'm in the mood for a comedy. I want to laugh today. I want to laugh today. You know, and that'll be the moment that's happening all in my head. And then I get there, and then it'll be like depressing romance slash comedy. That's not a comedy. And like, cause it's like, when I say depressing romance, I mean, it's like one of those um, kind of movies that belongs to the Lifetime channel, you know, that makes you feel like you should slit your wrist as a female, those kind of ones. And just because there's a couple of funny scenes in there, they're like, you know, throw it right in comedy. Somebody will watch it and find it funny. I don't. I want to know who rates your, your, your genres of taste when it comes to the movies. I want to know who sits there at Netflix and watches these things and is like, you know, <laughs> that tickled me. <laughs> Let's put it in comedy. Cause you know what also I find funny? I find horror films funny. Horror films are my comedy. When I go to my friends places, or when we're like, yo, let's watch something, I'm not like, dudes, you know what would be funny? The Conjuring, boom, let's watch it. Let's watch it, 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 let's watch it. Because what kind of a-hole would do that to their friends? You know why? Because my other friends find it to be a horror film. It doesn't matter if I'm in there like, ah, ah, I love this. You know, it's different if I watch Psycho and I think it's freaking funny. But if my next friend is next to me, <laughs> you know, that ain't cool. You know, and it's definitely not cool for me to be like, so are we gonna watch it? <laughs> I just kind of like, I mean, like, gotta see horror films, you know, as a comedy. So are we gonna watch it? <laughs> what do you mean we're not gonna watch it? I mean, it's practically like a documentary. I mean, if you really think about it, you know, um, I think horror films are an excellent way to document how people die, you know, and how crazy things happen. <laughs> I mean, you never know when a stalker's gonna pop up, so I mean, are we gonna watch it? Or you, so you're not gonna watch it? You're just gonna watch three minutes of it and just put it away? Is that, is that, is that, is that, what, is that what you're trying to say to me? I mean, because I suggested it for you. I mean, you asked me for my opinion. <laughs> yes, you did ask for my opinion. And I kind of just feel like you're just disregarding our friendship after I make this great suggestion for you and you won't even watch the freaking movie. I hope you see it in six categories. Yeah, I think I'm in an abusive relationship with Netflix. Oh my God, please, Apple Buys. I don't care who you is. If you're not an Apple Buy, you're going to click that button down and subscribe because you're going to want to, you want to want, you're going to want to watch this. I want you to tell me. Tell me your your, your flicks flicks experiences. Okay? Did it make you feel like this? Did it make you feel like this? I just need to know. I need to know what you're thinking. So pick a face. Pink, yellow, pink, yellow, pink, yellow, pink. Ye okay, maybe I'm doing it too much. But <laughs> be sure to tell me. Comment down there. What is your what is your flicks flicks, you know, <laughs> kind of moment? Hmm? Oh, and me in the meantime, while you're down there, clicking and then, you know, it's right and you're like, ooh, I hate this, or I like this, I hate this, I like this, you're gonna click that button down there to give me some thumbs. And yeah, share. Share. Because sharing is caring. Whoop, whoop!